the Kansas City Chiefs are coming off a very big win against the Chicago Bears, where we ended up beating them 41 to 10. Now, this is exactly what I wanted to happen because, first of all, the Chiefs was having a lot of struggles on offense, right? We understand that. 20 points against the Lions game one. Game two, 17 points against the Jaguars. So we come back here home at Arrowhead, and we ended up putting up 41 points. And the defense is obviously legit. And this is a top five defense as of right now. And I'm happy that the offense finally complimented the defense. Now, let's be real. If Andy Reid was a one of them type of coaches, then we really could have ran up the score and did exactly what the Dolphins did. But Andy Reid, you know he's not going to ever do that. But we're going to go over a few players that did very good today. Like Justin Rose is in the game. I would love to see the snaps that I was seeing. He didn't really capitalize much. You know, he had a target. They didn't really go his way. I, I thought he caught it at first, but somehow he didn't catch it. Um, Scott Moore was making a lot of big plays. Rasheed Rice was doing very well. I loved what I seen out of Rasheed Rice. Patrick Mahomes is on his A game today, man. You know, 272 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. You know, he's doing very well. Had some crazy throws. Justin Watson and MVS also stepped up. Travis Kelce, man. Now, I understand the controversy surrounding Travis Kelce's name right now. Um, and, yeah, I know you say Travis Kelce, but, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I got a habit of saying Kelce, but Travis, man. Travis Kelce, I know it's a lot of controversy surrounding his name because of Taylor Swift. And she was there at Arrowhead. And we got we, we to gotta admit it. My boy Kelce showed out for Taylor Swift. You know, he was making plays. Um, he got a very good touchdown. He made sure he was going to get a touchdown. And now that we move on to 2-1 and one in the season, we're going to see the New York Jets next week on Sunday. Now, I'm going to call my dad and ask him, does he want to go to that game? Um, he's probably going to say no. But, hey, let's see, man. Chiefs versus Jets. It will be awesome to go see the Chiefs ball out. Um, I'm trying to cook up a nice little bet for that game as well. But it sucks being a Chiefs fan when it comes to betting on the Chiefs. It sucks being a fan of betting on the Chiefs because we're always so favored to win that our odds are literally nasty. But we blew the Bears out. It was nice to watch. 41-10 to 10, as I predicted and as I expected. I mean, a lot of people were saying upset alert. But let's be real, bro. We wasn't ever going to go two losses back-to-back -back in Arrowhead because we didn't win in Arrowhead yet this season until today. So I already knew he was going to come out there, um, dominate early, you know, Pacheco dominated in the run game. CEH got his trade value up because I promise I don't believe in CEH. McKinnon had two TDs. Big game. I love how McKinnon is back being a receiving threat that we know him to be. And man, the Kansas City Chiefs are going to be great for the rest of the season. So during the 41 to 10 victory, like I said, Patrick Mahomes, he went 24 for 33 with 272 passing yards, three passing TDs, zero interceptions. 28 rushing yards so Mahomes has been doing very well as of late Travis Kels 69 yards seven receptions one TD Jack McKinnon 28 total yards two touchdowns Pacheco 78 total yards 62 rushing yards on 15 carries and I love that we're getting Pacheco more and more involved you know he's having a very good season he's definitely having a very good season and I do believe he's probably going to go for a thousand yards or close He's going for 1,000 yards or close to 1,000 yards. That's for sure. Clyde Edwards Hilaire had 55 rushing yards. Surprisingly, he actually had a solid game. He had a touchdown run. So I guess we're still with the CEH Cook. Um, Rasheed Rice, 59 receiving yards on five receptions. That's very solid. Sky Moore, 42 yards on 42. Oh, yeah, okay. 42 receiving yards on four receptions. Justin Watson, 51 yards on two receptions. I think he's our leader in yards yeah he might be our leader in yards justin Ro i mean justin watson's putting on he's having a big year man mvs that one deep catch 37 yards we needed that we needed that bro we definitely needed that Kadarius tony had negative one yards i don't i think he got benched or something bro i don't know what's wrong with Kadarius tony oh uh, harrison bucker had a very good kicking game tommy Towns out of 55 yard punt so the Chiefs man very good very very good Justin Ross will get better he will improve yeah he's gonna have his game soon Martrell Washington the wide receiver punt returner he did very well I love what Martrell Washington was doing in the punt returns 
I do think that he should be our punt returner for the rest of the year for sure. He definitely should be our punt returner for the rest of the year. Now, we have to talk about Blaine Gabbert, man. What in the world was Blaine Gabbert doing, bro? He went out there. He threw two interceptions. On, but they was both on third down. So I don't think that's the backup that we really want. Because say Mahomes' ankle gets injured, God forbid, again. And now we're stuck with Blaine Gabbert. You know, it's going to be very it's gonna be very bad. But yeah, man, Rasheed Rice had a very solid game. I loved what I see out of him. And all his yards, I mean, all his catches was big yardage catches. You know, most of them was first downs. 14-yard catch, 15-yard catch, 13-yard catch. Most of them was really, all of them was first downs, really. 12-yard catch, 5-yard catch. He gets a lot of yard after catch, too. So I think Rasheed Rice is going to be a very good player. And he's going to cook for a long time, man. He's going to be very good in this league when he gets developed. Sky Moore had a very solid game. 21-yard catch, 11-yard catch, 4-yard catch, 6-yard catch. Love to see Sky Moore getting more involved. And I just can't wait for Sunday again, man. This is how I am, you know. It's Sunday, and I already can't wait for next Sunday. <laughs> You know, I can't wait for next Sunday. But we still got some Monday night football tomorrow. We got us two games. But, man, I want to see the Chiefs play the Jets. And hopefully I could go to that game. But, yeah, man, overall, I say it was an A-plus performance. Barely any mistakes. We didn't make no turnovers. No um, special teams was on point. The offense was on point. The whole defense was on point. Kenny Duffy's up to two forced fumbles. And that's really crazy to me, bro. Trey McDuffie has two forced fumbles in only three games. And now that we're two and one, it really makes me mad that we ever even lost to the Lions. You know, it makes me mad that we ever even lost to the Lions. I feel like we should have took that dub so we could be three and zero right now. But things happen. Um, now the Dolphins are a real threats to the Chiefs right now in the AFC. But I do believe we will prevail and we will come up on top. And I think we're gonna go right back to the Super Bowl. That this defense is something really special. We did it without Nick Bolton. You know, the offense was all point. Can't really complain. And now you see the Jets next week. It's probably going to be, I mean, a lot of people think it's probably going to be hard going against the Jets next week. But I, I, I really don't know. A lot of people only think that because of the defense and how the Jets have such a great defense. But at the end of the day, it's Zach Wilson. He's going to play bad against our defense. He's going to give us picks. He's going to give us the ball back too many times for us not to capitalize. So we may get stopped a few times, but I see us still putting up a lot of points and a lot of field goals, and I think we're going to keep the offense rolling. And then we play the Vikings week five. It's going to be a very good matchup, and we're just going to keep it going, man. The season's going to be great. It's definitely going to be one of the best chief seasons of all time. I had a great time watching the game today. I hope you all did the same. Now, I had to get y'all a video real fast, and I'm going to be dropping videos all week. It's going to be loads of content. This is me and Boy Cheese Priority, and I'm out. Peace.